Take a look at this. I was in southeast Portland and it was really dicey out there, guys. Some of these neighborhoods especially were like ice rinks. This is one of those neighborhoods we're taking you down right now. I believe this is near southeast division. And in a little bit, hopefully this video gets there. We have some video. We found some down power lines as well over on 82nd, I believe, in wow. Clinton. So it was a really dicey situation, Drew. I knew uh, you mm -hmm. were out in Lake Oswego, and yep. it was a lot, a lot going on there as uh, as well. Yeah, there was just uh, a lot of that. I assume that's what the is that the power line you were yes, talking correct. about? Yes, correct. So this is the power line that was down on 82nd in Clinton. So I posted this image to uh, to my Facebook, and I had someone comment on there saying, "I don't think that's a power line. I believe that's." a phone cord, something like that, something along the lines mm. of it doesn't have an electrical charge. You guys, we're not electricians, so if you see a power line out in the road, yeah, don't I wouldn't even, even want to risk it. Yes, exactly. No. Don't yeah. touch it with a ten foot pole. Seriously. Absolutely not, yeah. But yeah, uh, over in Lake Oswego, you know, just that whole east side, it's so treacherous. That so that's a tree that I saw down uh, on uh, one of the roads, a uh, lesser road. And then you can see that one was hanging into the power lines that was right behind that down tree. This was just one of ten trees that the city says at least that fell and were blocking roads. So many roads blocks so many really really icy roads even my drive in here to work uh, from Gresham on the east side it was really treacherous and we saw a lot of cars slipping and sliding down this road wow. I cannot remember the name of the road but it was between Barber Boulevard and Capitol Highway and we saw one even worse than that it slid the entire way down Gosh. the hill so just one of the roads that we saw that was like that that are basically just sheets of ice and yeah you can see they can't even get out wow. there i can't imagine how lake oswego was after the weather system that came in last night because when i was there on wednesday with my photographer the roads were like ice rinks mm -hmm. i reported in colorado before this and blizzards and snowstorms and i have never seen roads really we're going to say this word all morning long uh, all afternoon long treacherous. They are just dangerous. It yeah. is so hard to get traction on ice no matter what kind of car you're in. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, some of the like really main roads are okay, but as soon as you get off of those, onto the it's side so streets. difficult oh, it's to a travel nightmare. anywhere. So. Yeah, we, and that's a good example was of that was um, in Southeast Portland on Cesar Chavez Boulevard. It was clear we were having such an easy time. The second we turn into a neighborhood, we're slipping, we're sliding. You can see mm -hmm. cars in disarray, trees down. It was a mess out there. And this is all Drew because of the um, the wind that came in last night as well freezing as that freezing rain. rain. Yep. Yep. It, yeah, it was really, uh, it's been a it's been poor a combination yeah. <laughs> of just the wind, the rain, the freezing rain, the snow. So it's been a lot. Yeah. Uh,